Some weeks ago, when I stepped off the bus in Johnstown, I saw the mobile library van pull off and I thought, well, there's something that needs to be on the map. The stops for the mobile library all over County Kilkenny and ideally all over Ireland. Because even though the whole attitude of, ah, sure, look, the locals know where it is, does exist, but there might be people moving into the community and they don't know where it is and they're not signposted because people in Ireland don't believe in signposting things like bus stops or mobile library stops and things like that. Because, as a friend of mine put it, oral tradition is still very strong in Ireland. But there is an option to map the stops of mobile libraries and I will show you in this video of how to do this. And the main tag is very simple, is amenity equals mobile library and that will put them on the map. The only problem is that it will not be rendered on this Carto style because there are so few mapped worldwide. There's only 671 worldwide, which is a joke for something that is important for rural communities. But of course, rural communities are often not as well mapped as urban areas. So there is a name that you can add as well. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense, but you can also add the opening hours, which is a bit complicated because it's usually something like the first Wednesday of a month from 10.30 to 11 or something. But it's a bit difficult to do the first Wednesday of a month. It is possible, but it also might change from year to year when the library decides on a new schedule. So I would instead suggest that you add a link to where the schedule can be found or the timetable and there are contact details that you can add and operator so it's not a not very deep tagging but it's it's good to know where the van stops and ideally where you can find more information in Kilkenny they have a timetable on their website which has the names of the locations. It's very often schools. So you see there are Clara National School, Bennett's Bridge National School, and so on. They don't give coordinates, which in a way is good because it doesn't get you into trouble with any copyright issues or licensing of where did they get the coordinates from and stuff like that, that we always have to consider that we don't use stuff that has been retrieved of Ordnance Survey Maps or of Google Maps. But if you set the note outside these national schools, you would have a lot done. Some of them are creches or kindergartens or early learning centers, they're now called. And some are also nursing homes, I believe. I didn't go through all of them. But once all the schools are mapped in your county, which is another problem, it should be easy to add the note just outside the school. And usually the national schools aren't that large and it has to stop somewhere outside. So if it's wrong by about five meters, I think it's still better than not having it mapped at all. And I have prepared a list on my Google Drive for all the counties in Ireland and even Northern Ireland, where you can find links of where to get that information. And I've also added a note about the way the data is presented. Some of them are Google Maps. You cannot use those because Google Maps data is proprietary and does not fall under the same open data license that OpenStreetMap falls under. So just forget about these counties, unfortunately. Uh, one, I think Cork only is using an ArcGIS map, which is usually based on Ordnance Survey Ireland. So we also cannot use those. Um, you can, of course, go and check out all these locations and do a bit of mobile library spotting and confirm them by having seen the bus or even take pictures or upload to some street level imagery platform like Mapillary or Panoramax or Carta View or any of those. So we have proof that the van actually does stop there. But that is a lot of effort in all these rural locations. So I don't know. It would, of course, be useful if the libraries just added this information to OpenStreetMap themselves because they know where the van stops. They can track it or they can, you know, they know the information without having to go into any other map material that would get us into trouble with copyright. That would be ideal if they did that. In Northern Ireland, I put that at the bottom of the table. They don't do it by county, but they have very good information and they give the 
townland name or a village name and they do also give a postcode. So that should be, I'm not quite sure how the postcodes work in Northern Ireland, but that should give you a good indication of where the mobile libraries stop. And they have it all very well organized and all in the same format, not like in the Republic of Ireland where every county seems to decide how to do it and some of them don't have mobile libraries, it looks like. So I will link that in the video description so you can go to check your county if you're interested in that. So let's start with the one in Johnstown where I actually left a note the second time I saw the van. So I'll turn on the notes here. There it is. And of course I have to turn the notes on here as well because now I already don't remember what it was here. So it pulls up, there's a bit of a wall here. I'm just gonna add that. It's a very low wall. It's only about 20 to 30 centimeters, but it's a bit of an obstacle. But I'll add the note here. I'm not sure if you can type in mobile library. Nope, that's a pity. So you just use the point and then type in amenity mobile library and source survey and I'll also add it here I can find it Johnstown well, that's not n none of those stops Johnstown and school maybe that's it unfortunately I don't remember what date I left the note maybe I can find that out 14th of May 14th of May um, there that was that day and that would have been the opening hours and of course they use the the 12 hour format which of course we don't use on OpenStreetMap we use the 24 hour format I'm just going to use this as the source. And I don't have a photo that is close up enough because I was still here when he pulled off and the zoom on my camera isn't great. Um, contact website, I suppose, would be the same website. I think there is somewhere, there is someone responsible for mobile libraries here. Contact email and paste that. That's really all we can do. And you can see that it doesn't even have an icon in the editor, which is sad. But maybe once we get the number up to, I don't know, 2000, maybe there will be more of an effort to create icons in the editor and also to have it rendered on the map. And I can save that. Added mobile library stop sources. I'll add it here again, survey and website. And he didn't just stop there to have his lunch because I think the first time maybe my boss arrived a little bit earlier and I did actually see the doors open. So he was ready to receive customers. I'm just gonna close this. So as I said, it won't render it, unfortunately, but it will show them if you run an overpass turbo query, which I will do in a second or maybe a minute or two. I just want to add another one where I actually looked at the timetable and thought, okay, I can cycle there because a lot of them are very rural. I'm not going to cycle to Kills just to wait for the mobile library van. But there was one that was kind of still within the bounds of the city and I cycled there and I waited and it never turned up but it was supposed to but the driver was sick that day 
So this is Eden Childcare here. Um, I'll see if I can find that here for proof. Eden Childcare Loch Boy. No, it's here. April 12th. So it must have been April 12th when I went to stalk it and it never turned up. So we'll add it here. But I talked to the, the manager of the childcare facility and she said, yeah, it should turn up, but it didn't. So amenity mobile library contact email. Do I still have that? Yes. And source survey and to the website. And that mobile library stop survey website upload. So that's two more added and if I run an overpass turbo query here, we search amenity equals mobile underscore library in county Kilkenny. Should be at least two now. Or even nine. Maybe I did some already from the list. I can't remember. So nine in County Kilkenny are done now. Should be ten. This one isn't showing yet. Run that again. Oh, come on. It does have the Johnstown one. And there is the Eden Childcare one now. And if we change the search to Ireland, I think I remember there was one in Cork mapped already. So there's 11 now. It's not, it's not great, um, but there's a lot more potential. So hopefully if I run this again in a month time, there will be more and hopefully they won't all be just added by myself. So if you know, if you live rurally and you know where the bus stops ask your children if they're going to primary school, chances are if you live in some of these counties that they will know that the mobile library is coming and they can confirm the location with you. Shinne will. I had planned to have this ready for World Book Day on the 23rd of April, but because of the hiccup of the driver being sick and so on, I didn't. But it's there now and hopefully it inspires you to add more. And if you're a librarian, please, please do that. Goromila Mahaga for watching and Slangafo.